Let's use MS Excel data analysis procedure to conduct relationship. After doing MS Excel data analysis tool for regression, what we are going to do, we will manually calculate the regression coefficient, the coefficient of determination, intercept, slope, residual, all those things. And we'll validate what we are getting and what Excel has produced is same or not. There are two reasons of doing this. One reason is that it helps you understand the formula even better. And secondly, like, you know, it helps you to discuss certain things even better. So let's understand this is the data that has been given. These are the, this is the height of the people and this is the weight of the people. Now looking at this data, you know, it looks like more the height, more the weight. I mean, think of, you know, 69 is the height. 112 is the weight, 57 is the height, 83, 63 is the height, 102, 65, 98. So on an average, it looks like, you know, like more the height, more the weight, but we have to see it even better. And we have to set a equation to see that it is really doing this kind of thing or not. So to do that, let's go to the Excel. So here is the data that has been given, you know, and the first thing that one should do is to set, take this data and first make a scatter plot. To do that, what you do, insert and you select this scatter, okay? And you select the first one, a scatter with only markers. So it is showing that there is just some kind of linear relationship, okay? Now the second part, let's use Excel's add-in function to establish the, to get the regression equation. To do that, what you need to go, go to the data and go to the data analysis. If you are not seeing data analysis, what you should do, you should go to the file, go to the options, click on add-in. Once you go to the add-in, you know, it will say manage Excel add-in, go. And here you should select Excel toolbar analysis toolbar if you do and the moment you say okay here data analysis will come in the data menu now what you need to do go to the data analysis select regression okay then in the input y range select the weight because we want to see height affects weight or not let's say x h this range you need to check levels because you have selected the levels. And now let's say the output range, let's say that output you want actually in this particular place. Okay. And you say, produce me the residuals also. Okay. And the moment you say, okay, it will generate some of these output, right? Now I have already put these output here and actually highlighted them so that I could know which are the thing I need to explain you. So here I have put those out that output and I highlighted some of the portion. Now let me explain you that what does it mean and uh, also try to show you the calculation. So if you see here the R value is coming out to be 0.877. It's positive. So positive means X is increasing, Y is increasing. That's what you have seen. Height increases, weight increases, right? The intercept is minus 143 and the coefficient is 3.83. So every increase in height, the way we have measured, will add 3.89 into the weight, right? And this will be the intercept A, value of A, right? Now let's, what is R square? R square will be the square of this. If you square this, it will give you 0.77. This is R square. That's what is here. So let's do one thing, you know, let's try to calculate and see that are we, uh, you know, what intercept height or regression, R and all those things we are getting. 
so here is the data that you have height weight this is x minus x bar so what I have done here I have calculated average that is giving you first x bar then it is giving you y bar right average formula I have used then I have calculated x minus x bar so essentially x minus the average that's what and I have dragged it so that it's everywhere x minus x bar y minus y bar is here then x minus x bar whole square which is power of this square this is y minus y bar whole square and x minus x bar into y minus y bar this these two multiplication uh, here I have sum of these things so this is the sum of x minus x bar whole square this is sum of y minus y bar whole square and this is x summation of x minus x bar into y minus y bar now let's go and use first of all the formula of r the formula of r is summation x minus x bar y minus y bar divided by x minus x bar square into y minus y bar square on the square root so here if you think of it is this particular thing which is summation x minus x bar y minus y bar that's what is here and within below that what you do x minus x bar whole square y minus y bar whole square summation for both of them and square root that's what I am putting sqrt below that it is giving you 0.8778 very much what you had got here 0 0.777 to 0.8 triple times 7 that's what you are seeing here you know if you increase decimal it will come even closer to that that's what you are seeing here the square of that is r square that you have seen now intercept b if you remember this is the formula x minus x bar y minus y bar by x minus x bar whole square so it is this section divided by this section x minus x bar whole square right so that's what if you see the formula that's what we had done and it is giving you 3.8990 very much what you had got here now let's calculate intercept which is y bar minus b into x bar we have done the same y bar minus b into x bar is giving you negative minus 143.03 so that's how you got the a b and all those things one more thing you need to understand in this case if you think of r square as a square sum of model divided by sst total sum square sum of square you know this will also is like giving you 7705 I mean if you think in this place you know this is the square this is the portion that has got explained this is the total error right 9335 I mean if you come and see here 9335 is the total error in the data y minus y bar right and this is the explained sum of variance 7193 right this divided by this will give you r square let's check that so if you are doing this regression by you know like 12 divided by 14 i12 divided by i14 very much this this divided by this it's giving you the same r square that you have seen and ms residual if you see now let me explain you residual and then I'll come to this place once again you know this is the height this is weight right so what is the predicted value a plus b x right so a is intercept b is here so that's how you calculate for each x you calculate the predicted y right the predicted value now what you couldn't explain this minus this is the error here the predicted is more than the what is the observed that's why the error is negative and some places it's positive so here you have the error now y minus y predicted whole square and you take for the all the data across the data points that's the unexplained portion of the error correct 2142.49 right 
I mean if you think of 2142.49 that is what is the unexplained error right residual error right so this minus this is what this is this is what we are able to explain correct now let's understand the residual error the MS residual error how many data points you have you have 19 data points right so you come here 19 data points minus 2 why minus 2 because 1 you are losing because of a, a that is uh, intercept and b your uh, and second is b which is the slope due to which uh, due to x so you have one x and one intercept due to which you are losing two degree of freedom so for 19 data points you are taking it taking 12 17 that's why you are dividing it by 17 if you had n data points you will divide it by n minus 2 that's what is giving you ms residual 126.03 right here there is just one that's what is the degree of freedom here for this there is just one and that's why you are dividing it by one it's giving you the same thing now the f statistics is nothing but regression by this error i mean if you think of you take this divide by this it will give you 57.07 that you have seen and this is the significance value p value of this which it's saying very clear that you know there is a very strong evidence that there exists a relationship between x and y now let's understand one more thing standard error right now this is the square root of ms residual right 126.03 right that's what you are seeing here residual error standard error which is nothing but the square root of this ms right so you have understood how to use the data analysis procedure of regression excel to conduct this and then you have understood different all these highlighted portion of excel which have explained you through manual calculation that what does it mean so bigger the r square more stronger is the relationship this is giving you that value is closer to one so it's a strong relationship and it's a linear positive because you know it's positive relationship you have seen r square is big you have seen r square another way of representing is uh, model sum of square divided by total sum of square and this is again giving you the same thing here you have understood how to calculate ms and ms for regression and residual and f statistics you have understood how to calculate intercept where it is cutting uh, y-axis and how to understand the slope it means that every un in one unit increase in height is giving you adding 3.89 in the weight we have understood how to get the residual also and how it is coming back here so that's what i wanted to explain you in the regression